Mm -hmm. At six o'clock, we're going to call the meeting to order. And before yeah, yeah. I hand it over to the select board, I'd like to say good luck to the Lady Cats tonight down at the Barry Auditorium for their semifinal game against White River. River Valley. So, good luck. The Wildcats will win tonight. Hopefully. Because they're both Wildcats. Yeah. Oh, they are? <laughs> Um, so I need to, um, I need to take a nomination for the chair. I nominate board. Eric Remick. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. But Ori said that nominations didn't require seconds. Yeah, that's Ori's business. Maybe not a business. town meeting. Okay. Just saying. Special Ori's business. It was a surprise to me. Um, so we'll vote all in favor of having Eric Remick be chair for the ensuing year. Signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? You opposed? <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. <laughs> to that yellow, he's chair at least to that yellow barn is yellow. So, <laughs> so, so, yellow. so you have the floor now. Thank Mr. you. Remick. All right. So um, so we also need a vice chair. Uh, any no, nominations? Yes, yeah, okay. You're nominating Kaylee. Okay. And it, it requires a second. I it does second not. Any, okay. <laughs> I don't think it does. Are there any other nominations? Uh, hearing none, all in favor of having Kaylee serve as vice chair for the ensuing year, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, next is approval of minutes from. Got a new guy. Oh, so Tim? welcome, <laughs> Tim. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let people know who he is. He got his name tag. Right. It's not Wiz anymore. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Yes, I'm not Wiz. How are you on history? Because that's a big chair to fill in the history area. <laughs> I, I probably can't live up to it. I'll do my best. <laughs> All right. We well. said fun facts. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Something about the Roman Empire, I guess. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a while ago. Um, well, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's see how much you can screw up Hardwick in a year. <laughs> yeah, you got one year to do it. It's all right. Uh, I'll keep a close eye on you, <laughs> Mr. Cadello. All right. You sure about that? Yeah, okay. And, uh, first thing, we need to approve some minutes from um, our last regular meeting, and we had a the special town meeting informational meeting. So that was the 15th was a regular meeting. In the well, I move that we uh, approve both. Excuse Second. me. Second. OK, any discussion or changes on those minutes? Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining because they weren't here? Got one. OK. Uh, motion carries. They both approved. Um, next, uh, set adjust agenda. Um, I've got to add uh, for the select board to approve the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District hazardous and household and hazardous waste collection event to be held on July 27th. Just authorize me to sign um, the letter of engagement or letter of intent or whatever it is. Permission. Slip. It's the, oh, hazardous waste. Yeah. The one that they do at the yeah. garage? Yeah. I've already. Got it. We'll do that as a number eight. A what? A number eight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any, any things to come off this agenda? Nope. <laughs> nice try. Could I have a motion to approve the agenda as amended? <clears throat> so moved. Second. Any discussion? Are we good? All in favor of rolling with uh, additional number eight, please say aye. 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 Oh, eight. Motion carries. I know it's an awful lot for an organizational meeting. Next, communication from the audience. Welcome. Um, and next is item one town appointments. So. <laughs> Did you, did have to say? Ooh, we have a I'm bunch of these anything. that we do every year, and I believe we've listed in our um, agenda. I think we have listed the person currently serving where we have somebody. Is that Except correct? Except that 
except that Danny was actually the town rep for NBDA, but he never goes. He didn't go, and <laughs> I had trouble going, but I at least made it to one or two. So I guess I'm it's okay important. with that. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need representation. Thank there. you, Sherry. I'll. I'll. You'll take try. Or My, if uh, I can't make it, I'll ask one of you. Because now I definitely can't do it now because I'm no longer the Bassa guy, so I don't have the opportunity. Yeah. To you don't have that time. So you gotta maybe, work. maybe try to just fill in some of the blanks and see if there's any that need to be changed before. Is, is Paul not yeah. in any communication with He you? is, yes. I didn't, I. So we can write him in? Oh, so we can put Paul Fix one. as okay. NK Communication Union <laughs> District Representative. We're going to put Paul Fix in there. Okay. Um, we need a CBSWMD alternate, and we need an agent to convey real estate, which used to be WIS. Um, does it have to be a select board member? Or I don't believe still so. Do no. that? I can I do that one, though. That's an easy one. Do you want to do that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you agent? have to show up at tax sales? Yes, you have to show things. up at all the tax sales. Right, but they ain't that many. Either. Two a year, potentially. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, okay. Sherry, sure, what's the... Yeah. Two a year. The, um, all can you still bid on them? That's my kind of... Sherry, <laughs> 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 sure, um, is the alternate just when you can't make the... Yeah. CBS yes. CBS yeah. CBMD. Basically, yes. I can do that as long as you tell me if you can't. The their board meetings are the first Wednesday of the month. What time usually? At six thirty. Okay. okay. So we're gonna do hers and alternate. Danny will be the new agent to convey real estate politics. Is the NK? I think. If there's, unless there's any other changes, that was all the blanks. Unless, Tim, I don't want to rob you of any uh, opportunity Glory. for a town appointment. Right. So uh, that's all right. I'm just kind of listening and learning to, <laughs> to start. I don't know if I want to sign up. So, for can anything. I make a motion that we approve the town appointments as listed? You, as Casey has them listed? You can. Could With we have the a additions? Sure. With the additions, yeah. yes. Could we have a second and then I'll read them? Second. Excellent. So, I'm just going to read through for the folks watching or following along. So here are town appointments. Uh, David Upson Jr. Um, as our Civil Defense Emergency Management Coordinator. Bill Chidsey as the Town Energy Coordinator. Sherry Cornish as Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District Rep. Kaylee Galloway Kane as the CVSWMD Alternate Rep. Larry Hamill as the Town Service Officer. Danny Hale as Agent to Convey Real Estate. Sherry Cornish as board rep to sign warrants. Sherry Cornish as neck arts board rep. Paul Fix as NEK <coughs> Communication Union District rep. Eric Remick as Hardwick Trails committee rep. Eric Remick as Lamoille Valley Rail Trail committee rep. Does that even still? No idea. Yeah, I'm not sure that that still happens. But yes, be. it does. Do you mean the local one or the or no, the regional the, one? No, the state one. Oh yeah, I think it does. Okay, all right. I'll find out. You Tracy should. Knows. David Upson as town safety officer. Uh, Maya McCoy as town website coordinator. Sherry Cornish as town rep for NVDA. Danny Hale as the Hardwick Woodbury Rail Trail. Excellent. Um, Eric Remick as the town health officer. Ah, ah. And uh, David Upson Jr. as deputy health officer. Do you want to do that NVDA one? Uh, I don't even know what the NVDA is, uh, so that would be. It's Northeast Vermont um, Development. Development Corporation. Association. Uh, association. Association. And it's so every it's a regional region, planning commission. Okay. Or a de regional development corporation, really, right? It's both. Yeah. NVDA is our. Northern Vermont Development Association. I think that's yeah. Right. Technically, they're called they're an RPC, Regional Planning Commission. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. They're an RPC. Yeah. Yeah. How about I just tell you when the stuff's happening? You can go if you like. Okay. And find out what it's all about. That would be great. Yeah. I'll do that. So okay. they're they're an important. Try to get you to take it next year. Yeah. I'm, if you're here. if I'm here. <laughs> But yes, oh, I, would, I, would, I would be. I would be. Clearly, does not this work. Of course, she's not. <laughs> you so were in. Uh, you didn't hear the door <laughs> shut behind you when you <laughs> came in here today. <laughs> All right, so that's the slate. Um, fine, fine, folks. Yeah. All good. So we have a motion. We have a second. Uh, all in favor of approving those as a slate, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. That's our appointments for now. Um, next is 
Item two, select board to establish our calendar. So traditionally, well, in this the past. This is when I fight for the <clears throat> meeting to start a little earlier. later. A little later. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and then these guys say no. So, uh, if I've already given well, in to the I've given For up. selfish reasons, I live 25 to 30 minutes away, depending on the weather. So, like. It's and, fine. Yeah, that's why I don't want to go out later. <laughs> hey, but town meeting, I already started telling but people. That's just Told somebody like today. Town meeting, townhouse. Next Thank year. you very much. So that's there's a win. Right. We'll be there. You got there's a huge. You got a huge. So um, traditionally we meet first and third, or historically we meet first and third Thursday of each month at for 6 July. p.m. here, except for July. the first Thursday in July, July which 4th, we take so, as vacation. Yes. Oh, it's the fourth. It's the fourth. Last year the first Thursday. July fourth, so we wouldn't Thursday. meet anyway. But yeah. So that's what we normally do. One in July. And Does that work for you? Year. Works for me as of now. 6 p.m. Okay, so we'll just do it. Carry on. Yeah. So uh, okay. could we have a motion, motion. motion yep. to make that sure. our calendar? Second it. Wait, you you yeah, moved yeah. it. Motion. You seconded it. Motion to keep the same calendar okay. as previous year. Got it. Second. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next up, item three. Select board to consider cannabis license renewal for renewal from the Clean Cannabis Company. So moved. Let's renew I've it. been told that there's no way there hasn't been any no, issues. No, no issue. No issue. We have a second. second. Yeah. I worked around the field down there. It's so Tim got the second. Um, and yeah. And further, there's not a lot. We don't have a lot of uh, leeway yeah, there anyway. We can't vote Even now. If, we right. We have no criteria. There's several towns that. So we, we have, um, there, there are criteria under which we could uh, deny some of the license <coughs> for cannabis, but it basically boils down to um, if they're in violation of our zoning ordinances. They could be in violation of state law too. Yeah, but then. Like the liquor but, and tobacco licenses. Right, but then. Right, but we have no criteria. But then that though. wouldn't even come to us, would it? We would find out about it. Yeah, but how no, would we but know I mean, that? No, but we wouldn't get the renewal, would we? If the oh, you're saying if the state the state would they charge them, them. Yeah, if they violated right. any town ordinances too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we would definitely get the. Oh, we would get a renewal even if they. So the if state. this the no, they if, violated a oh, state regulation, they would or take state. care of it. We probably wouldn't get it. We probably wouldn't come to. It. So basically, by the time it comes to us, yeah generally has been vetted and we don't have a whole lot to say of say in the matter but it's worth having the discussion and that's why it's good to have people say we don't have any issues yeah. good enough there was also uh, several several towns that took the this up on their town meeting ballot again took to, what to exactly allow, that? no to, to allow, allow cannabis oh, in their yeah. establishments yeah for the positive negative you don't know just questions. i don't know the outcomes but yeah. there was a handful but they took of it out yeah I'm sure there was some of So, both. I think we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? The only discussion is that typically when we get um, the same renewals for alcohol and cigarettes, we see we see that in the, the packet. application. Yeah. The application in the packet. I'm just saying it's, for it was on the. Did I miss it? It's in the. It was in the, in folder. the folder. Yes. Yeah. Cool. And all it really is is an email from the state saying same thing, the right license there. number, the company, and you're up for renewal. That's really all it is. Great. And then we usually just check with Kristen and she'll let us know that there hasn't been any complaints or violations and that's about it. Yeah. So, um, so all in favor of approving the um, cannabis license for a clean cannabis company, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next, uh, item four, select board to approve and sign the annual certification of compliance for town road and bridge standards. And this is uh, required for our state highway aid. And this is something we do every year. And we're basically, where is it? It's in there, last page of the packet. Last page. So we're basically certifying that we're going to, when we work on roads, we're going to do it to the state standard. And then they contribute um, uh, state what do you call it? Grants so and aid? For, yeah, grant. No, that's the, that's a different thing. It's just our highway state aid. We get so our much highway state aid, right. per mile, per right. type, class type, yes. I can motion uh, to approve the certification of compliance for the town road and bridge standards and network inventory for 2024. 
Second. Any discussion on that? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Do we have one of those to sign? Yes. And you ask Eric, I need you to sign the appointment for do CDM. I, see, do I sign both of these? Um, the solid waste district thing? I, 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 you have to read the bottom. I, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Sorry. Okay. Um, where are we? Item five. Select board to consider a request from Greensboro Nursing Home to have a coin drop in October 2024, which is currently open. And I'm so, we were supposed to have people here for that. There was two. Uh, so moved. Um, Thank you. A um, motion from Danny. It was an open month, and they asked. They're yep. going to submit for next year, but they asked if they could have it. We have a second on that. Second. Okay, so I don't know if you know, Tim, but we have every month of the uh, summer-ish. Well, May, we'll to, May to October. October. Summer-ish, <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> allow people to do a... One organization per month can do a coin drop one day down by the fire department. Sure. And that's all, like, we, yeah. So I'm that one was so open. Baffled, but I'm thinking I'm about doing an, an, an in individual coin, coin drop on the eclipse day. Oh, <laughs> on the eclipse day. <laughs> but no one will be able to see you. you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. There's for gonna five be a lot minutes, you won't be seeable. Well, we could do one for the park. So can we, can we do one for the police department? Yes, <laughs> we could. Sure. All in favor of approving the uh, Greensboro Nursing Home request for the coin drop in October, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next, uh, select board to consider a request to change Graham Drive to Blackberry Lane. And this is a private. Seen. It's, oh, no. Yes, Houston it's Hill. private. It basically just goes into some yeah. hay fields. There's no yeah. houses on it. Um, yeah. They're just kind of, I think, regretting the right original now. name and huh. prefer Blackberry Lane. Um, so they I think there's some history it. behind it, actually. So yeah. um, oh. they just yeah. asked to, to change it. We've confirmed with the state that it's available, and so it's just we would just report if you approve it. We, so we know. Yeah. Second. Questions? Have I? Kaylee put her info on that sheet. Kaylee put it. your info on the sheet. Oh, for us. I can fill it in. It's fine. You don't need to. I'll, I'll fill it in. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> huh? What about um, that? Um, <laughs> uh, what time is it? So, okay. wait. I'm all so, confuzzled. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did we call a vote yeah. on the... Danny moved it. I seconded the change to Blackberry Lane. And so, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, that's everybody, so motion carries. Um, we we'll have to skip number seven because she's not here yet. We're moving too fast. Yeah. We are moving pretty fast. Yeah. That's good. We need yeah. to be moving but fast. Move Next we eight. Take a recess. Brief recess. <laughs> Get another cup of tea. Yeah, be <laughs> too. <laughs> Eight. So um, tell people to be here at six o'clock. Well, I said that. So, uh, item eight, the um, we need, we would like to authorize the town manager to sign the uh, the approval for the hazardous waste collection day from the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District. Do we have a motion to have the town manager sign? So, so moved. Yeah, so moved. Second. Uh, any discussion? Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We can have select board reports. Oh, yes. Well, or what? Quick question. You have a question. Um, it's really a green update question. Is the mm -hmm. rec permit still organizing that? Will be the it sounds like a uh, new what? business kind of thing. New business? Okay. Or old oh, business. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Connected to what? The hazardous waste, it just reminded me of that. Green up day, yeah, there's a lot of hazardous waste to green up day. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But it's different, yeah. It is different, but it is heavy. Um, We've got waste for that. Uh, green up day is usually. What is the center? What are we doing this? Uh, okay. New business. New business. We, Sorry, we're we doing select board reports, new business, old business. Did we have any the, select board reports? The, Bailey just was jumping into the townhouse is open. Our first event is on 
the 15th, that right next week. Um, it's uh, Rebecca, the, the Cicero, the Psychic. Yeah, March 15th. So it's officially open as of today, you yeah. guys told me. Yeah. Nice. Um, uh, any other select board reports? Oh, I could report on the yellow barn. Oh, yeah. If anybody wants an update, as Danny has noted, it's not fully yellow again yet because parts of it are just the So, are they going to leave those white. clapboards on the old clapboards on the top half? Yep. So, the contract I asked the same question. My God, people. So, the historic that is ridiculous. So, the historic people wanted to leave as much that is going to look so terrible. Well, you, they're going to repaint it. I know, but you're going to, they're not, I know. To a guy like me, you're going to see it every time. Every single day. To spend in that kind of money and not to replace 10 feet of clapboards. No, nope, I know. That is just so silly, people. <laughs> I know. So, um, but, it, but it will be yellow. Can't sleep. I ain't going to be able to sleep tonight. No. So, uh, I haven't been able to sleep. Good news is you won't be able to see it because the building is Well, the windows went in. I'm going to go down yeah. tonight and tear them off. We might put new ones on then, won't they? They would. Win the windows <laughs> are <laughs> in. Probably back. The porch in the back is really nice, if anybody's seen that. It's going to be a beautiful building, except for those old cloud boards. I'm trying to steer you away from that, Danny. Shh. <laughs> Focus on the positive. It's there right. You go. Um, you have to do it in the standards of the historic preservation. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Dave Stratton did the, did the posts and beams for the porch for us, which was nice. Um, and what else? That big building in the back has uh, it's gonna the windows aren't gonna go into that until I want to say it's like two months. The lead time was really long on the windows. Mm -hmm. uh, what are they doing with all the cutouts of that insulation? That's where the windows go. Right, but are they just throwing that insulation away? I'm good. Uh, no, no, no. Um, we don't. Uh, if <laughs> are you looking for those cutouts? I mean, I might know some people. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yes, yes personally. I, mean, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm just curious. I, or, I, or I had that thought. <clears throat> what are we going to do with the mound of top skip waste leaching into the Loyal River? So it's not leaching the Loyal River because it it's, been, it's, it's, it's been tied up in plastic. Being slowly uh, <laughs> taken to because it's, it's being used as, as cover. It's going to Coventry. At the, soon. At the, the same place. Be all when, are, when are they going to ramp that up and get going again? I don't soon. Know. The trucking? Yeah. Dana no. said he, he wanted it to warm up. He thinks it's frozen. I don't know. I don't think it's I probably very yesterday. frozen. I dug yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. After I drove yeah. off and left you walking and realized I probably should have offered him a ride. <laughs> yeah, that was nice of you. <laughs> um, I went by your driveway and I'm like, I wonder if he's walking all the way up. <laughs> it was. Um, yeah. So. Soon. What else do I want to say? Uh, Cabot still should be in July 1st. The Cabot store should be opening around then. Um, Center Crag and Jasper Hill Farm in the new building. It's going to be longer because they're not going to really be able to start their fit up until closer to June, July. So they're going to probably be till uh, November, December getting in there. That's still pretty quick. Yeah, so, this year. So is there going to still be a trailhead there? Yeah, I think that that parking area down there needs to be expanded a little and formalized, like not formalized, but like a little more gravel. And then, um, yeah, it's still sort of like our other trailhead. Yeah, Kids that need a little gravel. Needs a little gravel. Needs a little. Anyway, yes, I don't see why not. I just wish. Yeah. Needs to be a combined parking trailhead -y type type place. of deal. Yeah. And we need to have should another. Should be a portage to the loyal too. Should be better. It should, and we and we need another combined trailhead um, parking thing where the big pile of sand for the sewer plant is when that pile goes. We'll away. get there. Oh, I know. Yeah. Right. I know, but all in good time. Yeah. Anyway, that's my update. Um, can we? Who would we talk to because the property is leased? Yes. And when. Construction is done mm -hmm. and the, the contracts are all yeah. finished. Um, I want to start thinking about what we're going to put on that west side of the building coming into the town. Yes. I've had a lot of people say, 
we need to put something on that. Totally agree. So I think everybody in the on the project side is on board with that. We just yeah. didn't have budget for it. Absolutely. Yeah. So That's we, it. I think. Sherry had some ideas. Sherry that mentioned for about a big grant, but or an arts well, grant. arts and infrastructure maybe. Yeah. yeah. They funded the mural. Uh, yeah, but I think that's something we should definitely. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I'll agree. check and see what the date is, what, what the deadline is for that. Cool. Yeah. That's yeah. That's a, that would be a really good thing. I think there will be some trees planted too, so that'll help a little bit too. Yeah. You're going to have to be tall trees. <laughs> We're hoping 20 years. Fast growing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Talk to the tree warden about that. The, yeah. the fast growing. Yeah. 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 All right. I mean, it's not going to be, it's, it's not going to be hard. It's not a big it, 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 Get the landscape we'll get around to it. Okay. It'll be cool right. to have a, a piece of art. Uh, it would be great to have something. Yeah. I'm thinking like a couple snowmobiles. Oh, jumping? Yeah, like, yeah. I've been a <laughs> Gateway to the kingdom, right? Yeah. That would be really good. Oh. Okay, so, so that was select right. board reports, and, but you wanted to ask about. Well, I, we don't need to ask about that. We've got time for that. But I do have one thing for the next agenda. Sherry emailed out um, last week. I think it'd be great to talk about construction in Hardwick at our next meeting and how we're going to navigate all the different yeah. main street, especially with the pedestrian bridge. So maybe we can just put that on a agenda for next time. And like, what's worth, what's worth marking? How are we going to mark? Because we're going to, Tom's going to be thinking about marking the streets soon, like painting the mm -hmm. spots. So, mm -hmm. so okay. for the future agenda. Yeah. Yep. Good. So, because yeah. the bridge construction is potentially starting in July. Potentially. Hopefully yeah. soon. Well, it's a, only potentially can we now. What about getting um, not to add to our list, bid, but and, then, and that has to be out to bid for thirty days. Right. And, and, but the yeah. permit, the, the timing works out to roughly July. Looks like the permits start. are going to be granted. So uh -huh. that's good. Yeah. We're on the yeah on the final stretch. Actually, going to happen. Crosswalk on South Main Street, right down by Jen, <laughs> by Jenny Lane down there. Has that ever been looked at? A crosswalk down on by Jenny Lane, by Jenny Lane down there somewhere. Has Chris, it ever been yeah, officially looked at? We're, I got I've gotten a couple calls about it. Kids, it's just a, there's a lot of people cross there. Kids walking to school and Kristen has looked at it. The line of sight. Oh no, it's a problem. You can't good. you can't have it go into that other road. You can't have yeah. a, right. a crossing into the end of the what road. Is the so, problem? I mean it's. So this is what I know, just, like just so this is what I noticed. I know we have a problem. Can't have a sidewalk on that side, on the right-hand side of the road, because people park there in front of those houses. Um, and then I see that the new apartment house there, they now put parking there. Pickup was hanging out, about so, a foot was hanging out in the road the other day. So I'm addressing that. All right. Uh, the South Main Street apartment, the, the one down by Spring Street, but there's also the new one by Far Street. Yes. That true. was not, a curb cut wasn't granted for that. That one is definitely not big enough. Right. Um, yeah. Not, I don't want to complain, but it's clearly no, I'm already in the road. No, I'm complaining yeah. about so, it. So, I don't know if on our list of endless and list of things to do, but that whole sidewalk down South Main Street at some point, is never going to be, that's going to be a long term, that's going to be a big project when we ever have to fix that because it's not, it's really none of it's accessible. It's not the only one. No, no yeah. But <laughs> we sure forget one. about these things that we have on our list. And it's definitely go. on a. There's no, there's no crosswalk though. I know. Anywhere down through there. That's Kristen and I looked at it, and I know the planning yeah. commission has looked at it. So there's a crosswalk at the United Church. Right? Yeah, that's a long ways from Jenny Street. Not if you had a sidewalk down that side no, of the street. No, if you had a sidewalk down that side of the street, which you don't have. Right? I don't think we had that this year. I think it was just this I mean, that's kind of the problem. That's what I was saying. We, for me, if the, the logical thing to do is to make our good sidewalk on the right-hand side. Yeah. Because that's flat and it's doable. You know, the bank and the left-hand side and all that's going to be difficult. You're going to yeah. have elevation issues. There's all kinds of issues where the right hand side of the street, you could you could put a sidewalk on the right hand side. 
Yeah, I think long term. So right. I think that's a, that needs some planning. Is my point. It's not yeah. like I expect it to change. But yeah. I, as much as I piss him on about planning, that's <laughs> let's just do it. <laughs> Sherry, you're smiling at me. I they highlighted. Like so I, I, I made Sherry yourself. happy, and I agreed with Paul Fix in the same week. The <laughs> 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 what is happening? <laughs> Where have I gone? Take a chug of that maple right. syrup. <laughs> this is good. So we have, we should, I agree, like that. Mm -hmm. I, you know, there are lots of places in town we have that we don't have the sidewalks that we need, but I think it's important to focus on the routes to school yeah. mm -hmm. um, as a priority. So, uh, yeah, we should we should definitely see. Oh, yeah, the morning it was foggy. That. You know, it's been foggy lately. Mm -hmm. Dark, foggy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we should have safe routes to, for kids to walk to school. Oh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Anything <throat> else in the select board reports, new business, old business world? So we're going to... Hold on. Are you guys here from the nursing home? Okay. Mm -hmm. We were ahead of schedule and oh, oh. granted your permission. Oh, Yes. Thanks for coming. Oh, so well, you're welcome to stay. Maybe just call yeah. real quick and then. Okay. Well, we appreciate that very much. We were prepared to let you know that 55 residents from Hardwick have lived in the nursing home in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. and we really appreciate the part, the community partnership we have to be able to keep this facility, you know, going. And it's a very high quality facility with a very home-like atmosphere, which. Mm -hmm. It's really great to have in our community because there's a huge lack of skilled nursing care in the state. Thanks. Thank you could, so much. Hey, could you show us your name? Oh, I'm Sarah Lambert. Hi. And I'm Liz Baum. And we are the fundraising committee. We are. I'm board members. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, next town meeting, have someone there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. well, That's we, huge. Uh, we felt it was important to be in our town meeting, mm -hmm. but yes. Yeah, so right, but you can maybe able to find someone. To yeah. yeah. Somebody's both. Sarah, Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. yeah. yeah. Right, but she's spoke. a doctor. Yeah. She lives in town. I didn't see She lives in town. I know, but I'm just that. saying. No, we were it was perfectly good. Yeah. She spoke, but I think she spoke more as because she felt somebody needed to. And if there had been somebody there that said there were 55 residents, and they did a lot of those speech, a little jingle. Yeah. yeah. That's so what extra. people are asking for for appropriations. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I mean, we'll Sarah, did a, Sarah did a fine job, but I, I, I certainly felt it was more like, all of a sudden, she realized somebody needed to speak. That is yeah. what happened. Yeah, you yeah. no doubt about it. She did not have a prepared speech. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking this? <laughs> thank you. Well, thank right. you. We'll see you in October. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for working on the nursing home. Yes. Any one of us may need it at the end of life, so <laughs> keep it going. Well, I hope to make it there someday. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's a goal. <laughs> Once you hit 60, that's the goal. You get to the home. All right. Uh, all right, so uh, we've gone through it. Uh, should we backtrack to item seven now? Yeah. Okay, so uh, are you Karen? I am Karen. Hi. Karen. Um, so item seven is select board to consider an economic development loan request from Vittles Cape. Keith? It's, it's a slang, it's cafe. Cafe. It's spelled, yes. Ah. I don't expect people to use the word cafe. I expect people to use the word bills. Okay. I'm trying to get some bills. Does anybody want any bills? So that's my my okay. My process. So um, if I understand correctly, you're looking for a loan for um, the for Connie's kitchen, essentially. But it's Correct. that's yeah. space. Well, that's space. That's space. Yeah. Got it. Um, and we have, so we have this open discussion here on our agenda. We also have um, an executive session to get into anything that's like your sure. personal financial data sure. or anything like that. Um, but just uh, so to open it up, does anybody on the board have questions about the application or the? Sure. I can see everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Read. I remember that I saw what your proposed hours were going to be, but I've forgotten where it is. Can you just 
tell us when, um, when were you going to be open? So I'm going to be open Monday through Saturday. So Monday through Friday, it's going to be 11 to 6. Saturday, it's going to be 9 to 1. Great. Um, I may increase. I may do a 10 to 6, depending on how, the, how busy, like, it's, yeah, what, the flow. what that looks like. But mm -hmm. the hours were definitely increased dramatically. Yeah. Great. And maybe more for folks viewing than for us because we've read this. Do you want to just say a little bit about how you say it in your application, how you're going to share the space with sure. kind of how the sure. business is going to go? Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> Carol and Steve and I, Connie's Kitchen, have um, been family friends for a very long time. Um, I currently work at Connie's Kitchen. Um, Carol has expanded her wholesaling. She has 10 stores um, and is um, very, very busy with her bakery part. They closed the, soup, the sandwiches almost two years ago um, because she was focusing on her bakery part. Um, so daily, I'm in there. People are looking for more. She offers a, a daily special. They're looking for more than a daily special. Um, so that, that got me thinking that um, that we need something more on that corner. It was already a, a successful sandwich shop in the past for a long time. So we work very well together. So she is going to um, move her space in the back, which she already uses all the time. And I'm just going to take the front over. Um, so some of the money that I'm requesting the equipment is very old. It wasn't very well maintained. Um, I believe it needs some light renovations. My um, thought process is I'm looking for um, where people can help themselves a little bit more. So with the crock pots or with the cooler where they can grab their sandwiches or their, um, their macaroni salad or potato salad. Um, but then I'll be doing my fresh sandwiches um, I really want it to be timely. I think some of um, the concerns in the area is that things aren't very timely. People are waiting for a long period of time for a quick sandwich or soup. Um, so my, my focus is really about being timely. So the more I can offer self-serve or a cooler for people to grab you know, their, their lunch, they're um, vittles. They're, they're vittles. They're vittles. Yeah. They're vittles. Exactly, they're vittles. Yeah. Um, I will still wholesale Carol's 100%. Um, and she's actually kind of excited because she'll be able to start expanding, maybe doing fresh breads and pies and some things that she has not been able to do. So we'll be able to even add even more bakery goods um, to both menus. So are you, are you taking over the existing seating? Area. Yeah, okay. Okay. I was going to ask. So Correct. there'll be some eat-in space? Yep. yep, there's currently 12 chairs, um, so I think there's, one, there's five tables. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's smaller tables, but um, we'll definitely continue with the eat-in and the take-out. Okay. And then a couple of things just to note, too. You mentioned that that would need a separate restaurant license because it's a different type of serving. So it's basically sharing the space and still having two separate Correct. businesses. Yep. yep, and I've actually spoke about the apartment. Uh, they came in for an inspection um, and he didn't seem to um, have any concerns or issues. He would actually have to inspect the entire space, but it would be you know my inspection and then Carol's inspection. So together, we have to make sure the space is clean and ready for inspection, but um, and we would both probably be if there was you know a concern, um, we both both probably be check marked for that. But um, we're both fairly very clean people. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. um, can I have a? Motion to move to executive session to include the town manager, the business manager, and Karen Whitcomb um, into a so we can discuss the finances. So moved. Do we stay here? Uh, oh, I should have said her uh, BSA 313. 
So moved. So moved. Do you have a second? Second. Oh, Tim got it. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We go down.